G'day, Dewey here. I'm going to show you how to get some Dewey bait today. Um, we'll be targeting whiting as well as hardy heads, um, bycatch and mullet as well. I'm just going to show you how to throw a throw net. Right, your dominant hand, if you're right handed, put on your right hand. Just do nice real small coils. The smaller loops the better. That way they're not going to tangle up with your leads. So once you get to the top, it's called the horn. You want to grab that at the top there like that. This is only a seven footer, so I can just do that in one grab. Once you've got the one grab, just grab your leads and separate it. Now that it's separated, you bring it up to your top hand here and just hold it like that. Simply grab a third, like this, and put that into your top hand. Grab the other third, and we'll go throw it on some bait. Some mullet here. And we've got some mullet. Little guys in there, probably good bait size. We're going to let them go, get some bigger ones. Up there, Dad. There's some more up there. Some big ones. Stop there, Jake. I'll go up in there and hit them. Time to move, Molly. You're making noise. I'm grabbing a top third in the top hand third real hand and when you throw the net you want to do it as if you're doing a big dizzy whiz so the leads come right out and around you're not chucking the net but you're more swinging the net around that's a better throw dad yeah, right. got a few little mullet in there Perfect little bait size. I can go back today. Nice. Beautiful today. Beautiful weather. Here we've got a centre cord thrown in or a drawstring, it's a larger net, it's a nine foot net. It's better for bigger mullet, bigger schools of fish. Uh, this one you need to do two grabs. We've got the top horn there, and do one grab, like so. The most important grab is the one closest to the leads. And you basically want to do it at pocket height. And you just also put that into your top hand, like so. We do the same as the other net, you just simply grab it, divide it into a left and right hand, grab a third. Just making sure there's no tangles. This has got a bit of a tangle, so we'll sort that out. Okay, and then we grab a third with the back. So basically third and third and third remaining. You simply just do a, a, a large sweep and spin. Nailed it. And when we're pulling in, the cord just brings all the leads together. I can see them. And all the fish come into the pocket. There's one up there. There is, Molly. We'll get him out. Okay, so I'll show you again, just grabbing a third. Other thing that's important is to make sure you haven't got tangles, is the easiest way to get the tangles out. Bring it over your leg. Like so. And that just ensures all the tangles are out. So that's good to go now. Right, we'll just run through it again. Nice small coils in the right hand. Grabbing the horn all the way up, like so. What you can do, you hold the horn with your right and you just lift it with your left and that'll 
just tighten that center cord up nicely. So we're just going to grab that, grab near the pocket, lower pocket height. If you're standing in deep water, you probably grab it a little lower. So we just separate the net like that and grab one side, grabbing a third, making sure there's no tangles. To be held in your right hand? Yep, that simply goes up there to your right hand like that. And we grab the left side of the net. And as we throw, we're not chucking the net, but we're, we're letting it swing out away from us and then giving a bit of a heave. Jumping around. Yeah, there's a few there. Little tiny bait fish and there was some over there. Did you in that one? Yeah, there's a couple of little mullet in there. Here we have Dad. He's just caught some. He's had a quick little fry. Here's a some slightly bigger mullet. Perfect boat size, Molly. Can you get the blue tub, the blue tub, Molly? Chuck them in. Molly, can you listen to Dad and get the blue tub? Yeah. That one. Get away. Yeah, they're not exactly your best friend as a throw netter, are they, Dad? Just flick these ones back. We're not going to keep. Well, see how these are skinnier and oh, these ones are thicker. I think I've got one. Ow. The rest of them can go back, Molly. Nice work, Dad. Got a couple, mate. 